who don't already know, the questioner was uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee from Texas. Now we have Congresswoman Barbara Lee from California. Thank you very much, and let me thank you, Mr. <coughs> Cohen, General Odom, for being here once again, and also for continuing to, to raise your voices and to provide the facts, the truth, your, your intelligence, um, your background, and your expertise is, is sorely needed at this point, and I uh, admire your courage and your willingness to participate in not only this forum, but all of the forums that you're participating in and your writing. Let me uh, mention a couple things. First of all, today, um, we will be voting on the Defense Appropriations Conference Committee report. Uh, and I'm pleased to say for the first time that our language uh, and our amendment held uh, that saying that there should be no funds for permanent military bases uh, in Iran. Uh, that's for, that's in the conference. That's for FY07. We don't know what they've done in previous years, and we don't know what they will do with uh, subsequent funding. And so, we uh, will vote on that later. Uh, of course, I'm not going to vote for the bill. I can't vote for it, and I say that because we're talking about the costs of this occupation, and we're talking about now, and we, we see the NIA report concluding, uh, of course, what it concluded that uh, the terrorist threat is increasing now as a result of this uh, war that didn't need to be, needed to be fought. Uh, so really, uh, the taxpayers are, are funding a war and an occupation that's creating more danger for Americans and creating more havoc. And I guess what I want to ask you is how do we convince the American people without, again, I'm the daughter of the Lieutenant <coughs> Colonel, 25 years in the military, my dad served. And so I agree with you, General. This is not about our great young men and women. This is about a policy that's putting them in harm's way. Uh, and how do we convince the American people that their tax dollars now are going to fund what we knew and have said before, but what now the intelligence agencies are making public and saying, and that is that uh, our country is less safe, and uh, we're funding that effort. Well, what you're doing right here is the first step. Uh, I'll be candid. I'm terribly disappointed in the Congress. I think the Congress essentially opted out. This is absolutely most despicable performance by Congress I've ever seen. Thank you. And I hate to say that, but I respect it. I've been up here and testified a lot. And I know many great individuals. And I know it's not a partisan issue because I have good Republican contacts up here who right where you are on this issue. And I'd like to cite uh, Walter Jones as one who is brave enough to stand up and change his mind and say I was wrong and then turn around on it. Uh, that shows real wisdom. And I, I just hope he gains more traction. Uh, speaking out, as, as I can say, there's been a, I think there's been a fear among members about the damage that was done. And I've been called up here by several uh, members. A member of the Senate had just with me for about an hour one day uh, how to deal with that question. And I think the answer is pretty straightforward. The damage, the aftermath is going to be great. It was going to be great, as Dr. Tiller said, the day you invaded. And it's going to be great whenever we leave. The longer we wait to leave, the larger it's going to be. So you have an administration committed to making it larger, which is taking us to the greatest strategic defeat in American history. I challenge you to name a case where we have been involved in a war that's leading to such a disastrous outcome. Uh, my metaphor of the United uh, Empire State is not an exaggeration. It's one I've thought a lot about. So that's what I would say. I think the ordinary American can understand this. I just don't think clear-minded uh, American leaders are telling the truth. Perhaps I don't think I, I just wanted to comment the measure of the vote that you uh, alluded to about no permanent military bases in Iraq is important uh, because it responds directly to one of the ways in which war in Iraq has aided the radical Islamist propaganda, the terrorist propaganda, and that is the idea that we are out to be permanently there to occupy Muslim lands, and you can go on and on with the, hearing the propaganda, and I think it's very important for the Congress, for whatever measures you can, to do what you can to uh, disabuse uh, people in the Muslim world of that uh, perception. Thank you very much. Is my time up? Uh, yeah.
Yes. Okay. Oh, 30 more seconds. Let me just make one point. <laughs> that is, the, the drum beats of war uh, as it relates to Iran are, are very loud now. And I see, and many see, a very similar parallel track of uh, operation over with the administration and how they led up to the war against Iraq and occupation and now with Iran. And so I'm quite worried that they're beginning to uh, fix some intelligence and, and uh, cook the books. And uh, we're going to be in another mess if we don't stop it.